This is a community um, called Hole of the Pigs. Um, Mahiola's on the front end of this, and then you come down into here below, down in the valley, and it's Hole of the Pigs. Um, it's primarily Haitian uh, community. Um, they make their living in the garbage dump, uh, primarily scrapping in the dump, looking for metal, looking for plastics, looking for anything that's reusable. Primarily, their, their water source is the river that runs through the community at a couple different points. It's also a river that comes out of the mountain communities, and it's a river that, that crosses through several um, farm environments, so it's, it's extremely dirty. And they uh, get their drinking water and... They bathe. wash in it, they wash clothes in it, they bathe in it, they're, they're eating, uh, you know, cooking and preparing food with that water they are drinking that water. Um, we have been fortunate to be able to work with some local potters and develop a water filtration system. Uh, it's ceramic based, uh, uses um, sawdust and uses a colloidal silver, a liquid silver powder that's mixed together with water added to the mixture of the clay and the, uh, that's formed into what we call a membrane. So, what we're doing here is a water filter assembly. We're gonna drill some holes in buckets so that the top bucket has a hole in the bottom and drill a hole in the top piece of the bottom bucket. The filter is gonna sit down inside the top bucket. It's got a tube, a um, little PVC piece that comes out of the bottom of the filter of the membrane. It passes through the hole of the top of the bottom bucket and then a nut is put in place along with a little bead of silicone there to, uh, to ensure the seal and to ensure the integrity of the pure water so that we don't have any breakdowns or anything like that. Yeah, 83% of all illness in the DR comes from, uh, from poor water, uh, bad water, um, and uh, it really impacts the life of a family here. So this is gonna meet great needs and um, and provide a lot of uh, pure water. We have folks that sponsor those filters um, and we are charging people to get into the community, to do community-based things, things that are outside of their own personal good, but that would uh, involve, you know, maybe it's cleaning up in a community, maybe it's helping with a kids program, maybe it's helping with a uh, partner with UTK in a project that's going on in the community and that's how they pay for their filter. So it's sweat equity in general, uh, generally, and it uh, allows them a chance to, to take ownership in earning their filter. Um, it allows them to have access to pure water, to earn it so that we're not giving it away, and it builds their pride, builds their, their commitment to it and ownership of it, and um, it's sponsored and really paid for through, through contributions to UTK. Well, there's a lot of different things you can be involved in. One, everything that we're involved in with a mission team. I'm Hallie Barnhart and I'm 20 years old from Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm here for the summer working with UTK doing just whatever they want me to do and helping lead teams and doing Bible studies and uh, working with communities as an intern. Like, I've loved it. Like, it's been cool to like put myself in their shoes and seeing how they live. We've grown with God and we've grown with like the little kids also. So they attached to us really well. Yeah. When we came back the second day, they ran out to us and it was like the same the ones same that we were kids, with. Like, yesterday. Went up to the next day. And I would definitely recommend coming here. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity if you get the chance you need to take it. So.